the VLF loop antenna is quite hard to see but the top is attached to the mast which supports my 10 meter uh, halo antenna. It then goes down the garden to a tree and down to near the ground, back along the ground, uh, just above the ground to the bird table here. And the wire comes then from the bird table along to the table at the back of the garden and then up back through and into the shack at the window here. Uh, in all the the area enclosed by the loop is approximately 80 square meters. The loop antenna is brought in through the brickwork from the outside in the back garden. It's stepped up by about 8 to 1 using the 3C39 toroid also used for the ATU on 500 and 136 kilohertz. This is the 9 kilohertz tuned preamp. It's a low impedance input MPF102 FET with a drain tuned circuit tuned to 9 kHz with a small ferrite uh, pot cord 100 milli henry inductor and some capacitance in parallel with it and then fed to the sound card of the PC via a emitter follower which is a 2N3904 transistor stage. So the signal from the preamp is fed into the PC and the PC is running Spectrum Lab software with settings uh, of an FFT bandwidth of 423 microhertz. This is very narrow settings, so the screen uh, scrolls very slowly. The number of hours is about an, uh, an inch or two and a half centimeters of screen width. If you look very carefully on this uh, video, you may be able to make out a line here which is G3XIZ's VLF signal on 9.0909 kHz uh, in early March this year, uh, which is just visible on the screen. Um, he's 45 kilometers away from me. Uh, the day before, I was copying DJ8WX in northern Germany at a distance of 645 kilometers with the same system.